I have been playing with Fusion today and I come across something that I think was quite unusual. I haven't finished it, but I'll put it available for download and I've called it Gradient. If we bring it in and we've got Gradient on the screen. What's special about a Gradient? Well, this Gradient is actually quite unique because it's pulling information from an image. Let's jump over into the inspector. First of all, you're going to notice that I've put a note up here. Seems to be a little bit of a, a bug updating the inspector, which I'll go through in a second. What's unusual is we've got a loader node in here and I can browse to this folder where I've got some examples of gradients. These are PNG files. This folder is inside the generators folder. It's called gradients. I'm going to show you where you can get thousands and thousands of gradients. I'm just going to show you what's unique about this. So if I bring in a, let's say we'll bring in this gradient. And now we've got this gradient here. This is not an image. It is an actual gradient. You're going to notice the actual gradient that's showing in the inspector is the gradient from the last image. I'm not sure why, but if we come to settings and then come back, it then updates. What that means is we can do lots with it. What we're doing is turning on fusion overlays. And these two crosses or controls on the screen are operating the start and end X and Y. By grabbing these, you can change the gradient. You can play with it. And you can use this not only on vertical video, it works on any video. I'm just happens to be working on a vertical video at the moment. We can change the kind of gradient. So let's say we have a cross, bring the cross down to the middle and using the offset, we can animate the offset. And if we do repeat, then we can get some psychedelic animation going on. We can also change this to radial. Well, let's do repeat and just do a little bit of that. And now we can animate the start and end, get some really cool effect. I've put a button at the bottom. This button is going to take you to colors. And what colors is, is a really nice website to do some color generation. It's a free account. You just sign up for a free account and then you come in to start generator. Now the way to change this palette is just press the space bar and that will keep changing the palette and you can just select a palette that you require. But one of the easiest things I've found, if you come up to the top right to the hamburger menu and click explore, we've now got some palettes down here. So we'll pick one. If we come up here, we can view this as a gradient and then from viewing it as a gradient, we can download an image and we can download the image into the folder. I recommend renaming it, just give it some random name. Uh, let's do S's on this one. And this is because if it's got sequential naming, so gradient one, gradient two, gradient three, it's going to bring it in as an image sequence, which we don't want. So give it a random name and then save it. And then we come back to here, click browse and we can load it. And there it is, our gradient in here, which we can play with. Now, one thing you're going to notice, let's do the things and back to update it, is here I've got a number of sample steps and that corresponds to these little triangles here because there are five colors that we've just imported and there are five steps here. And the reason I've added that control in there, if we go back to colors, what you'll notice in the Explorer is take the top one, it's got one, two, three, four, five colors. But if we scroll down, we'll find this one. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. We've got nine shades. If we bring that as a gradient and then download that as an image and give it a random name. And what I recommend when we bring it in, it had nine. Is we've got one, two, three, four, five. Change the settings, come back still got five if we take this slider up to nine now the only snag is at the moment you've got to go back to settings and back to control for it to register those nine but now we've got all those nine colors in our gradient rather than just five colors in our gradient so just be aware of that there we go what i'm going to do i'm going to tidy up the inspector a little bit and we'll give it a thumbnail and then i'll drop it in the shop in the Kofi where you can download it completely free unless you want to buy me a coffee. But all that's left for me to say, enjoy playing with it and enjoy the rest of your day.